the goddess or the also called a female Buddha, uh, Tara is very popular, a very popular subject in art. And uh, generally we have the green Tara and the, the, the white Tara as the main forms that you typically see, most commonly see. The, the green Tara herself and the green color represent a combination of all colors within tantric theory. And so therefore she represents all activities. Uh, the white Tara, uh, with the seven eyes or without, depending on the tradition, but white Tara is uh, generally used for long life. It's, it's regarded as a, a long life uh, deity. But we also have uh, many, many other types of Tara. It's, it's, it's not just dozens of different forms, but it's probably more uh, scores of different forms. And within that, we have the eight, uh, the Tara uh, removing the eight fears, and and uh, for this we 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 can have several different forms as well. Uh, but we also have the twenty one forms of Tara. This may sound simple. Okay, fine. Now we have twenty one, but actually we have five common systems of twenty one. We have the Surya Gupta tradition, we have the Atisha tradition, the Longchen Nintik tradition coming from Jigme Lingpa, and then we have the Chogyur Lingpa tradition from the 19th century, and then we have the Sadhana Samuchaya tradition, which is, a, which is an early system from about a thousand years ago. So we have these five different ways of depicting the iconography of uh, the 21 Taras. The Sadhana Samuchaya is, is the most simple form where it depicts the, the different 21 Taras uh, in, in a certain posture. They're all in the same posture. The only thing that differentiates them is color. Um, the Atisha tradition are also essentially all in the same posture. Sometimes you can have slightly different um, uh, facial moods, a peaceful, semi-peaceful uh, appearance. Uh, but in the Atisha tradition, all of the, the right hands of each of the 21 Taras holds a vase. The Longchen Nintik tradition and the Chugyur Lingpa tradition are, are quite similar, where there's usually an attribute on a, a Utpala flower over the left shoulder attribute, like a bow and arrow, or, or a wheel, or a vase, or something such as that. The Surya Gupta tradition is the most complex, where each of the deities can have multiple faces, multiple arms, uh, different colors, wrathful, semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful, and wrathful. So the most complex iconographically of the the five systems that are found in art the most complex uh, is the Surya Gupta tradition